Wait. Hello, everybody. This is Tyler Andrews. With Netherman Studios. And we are Reality Films. Well, we are back after a three-month hiatus, and then in another three months, we'll upload again. And then... <laughs> True. And another three months we'll upload again, so that's just going to be the pattern. Today, we will have three videos for you guys, so don't worry, we we'll, won't have a lack of uploads today. So, we are going to be reviewing three franchises. One's a video game, one's a movie, and one's a surprise. We don't so, know what it is yet, that's yeah, Secretly, we're making this on the go. <laughs> Alright, so the first franchise we're going to be going over is Batman. So, we're going to be going over the Batman cartoons and the Dark Knight trilogy. Not and the, the original four Batman movies, just because he doesn't own hard copies of them. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but I didn't bring them. So, and if we have time, maybe we'll do a speed round for that. But we probably yeah, remember. Probably not. So, oh. anywho, we've got Batman: Mask of the Phantasm. What are your thoughts on this one? I'm sorry, everyone's gonna hate me, but I think this movie is so overrated. I like it. It is just the animation, in my opinion, is the worst out of all the Batman cartoons. And and I found the twist at the ending not surprising at all whatsoever. The twist at the ending, no surprise at all. We're going to keep away from spoilers as much as we can, so be warned. But we're going to try. Um, but in all, this this is good. It's just not, it's over. It's overly hyped. And everyone's like, oh my god, this is the best Batman movie ever made. And then, not even close. It's not even close. But it's still <laughs> good at that. I'd yeah. give it about a 5 out of 10. Yeah, and maybe 5 or 6 for me. Like, it's okay, I think. Alright, next up we've got Superman, Batman, Apocalypse. Thoughts? <laughs> that movie's terrible. It doesn't... Batman's in it, like, hardly anything. It's about yeah. Supergirl, but they get their names Enough on Enough said. It. It's just... It doesn't really... It doesn't remind me anything of Batman. <laughs> and he gets, doesn't he get his name first or, or second, Su but still. Superman. It's called Superman Batman. But we still included it just because it's Batman. So, as a movie itself, I give it a 7, but as a Batman movie, a 2. <laughs> as a movie, it just, like, as part of, like, their DC universe or whatever, I'd give it, like, a 6. But as a Batman movie, I'd give it, like, a 4. Okay, next up, we've got Batman vs. Robin. I have not seen that one yet, because I hate the other movie we're about to show you. It's good. It's good. Um, it's just... <sighs> Damian Wayne is annoying. <laughs> Damian sorry. Wayne is a piece of crap. <laughs> So this I don't I don't like me. him at all. Like literally, I would put negative numbers. But and yeah, I, this movie's it's not I bad. It it's yet, just so. not good. It's better than this one though. Son of Batman. I'm sorry. I hated this movie. I cannot stand Damian Wayne. He's so freaking annoying. I don't like him at all. Literally, I can't stand. Him. There's just nothing likable about the character. In all, the movie shouldn't the, be bad. Actually, the fight is really good. The it's fight really is great. Too. The fight's great. It's. The son of Batman that sucks. And that's the whole point of the movie. It's called Son of Batman. It's, but the it's son about sucks. Damian Wayne, too. I, 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 like, I, like, I like Dick better. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, let's see. We're doing that one. That's that one my favorite. Oh, this one? Yeah. Let's do this now. So, Batman, The Dark Knight Returns, Part 1 and 2. Um, I can't... I'm trying to remember which part was better. Part two for me. Yeah, part, part two is better. Part two is that's when he fights Superman. Superman. That's when we actually get a good Batman versus Superman fight, and then this time Superman's a jerk. Yeah, this part two is definitely I hate the Superman part. in this movie. Part one's good. Part one's good. But it's kind of weird though. But two with the the mutant people. Two first of all had everything that excited. Like this part one was like the build up, and then part two was kind of like the payoff. Superman's the end villain. That so, was really cool. Part two is definitely surprising. Alright, this movie is how Batman vs. Superman should have been. So I give this movie a definitely 8 out of 10. I'd give that a, a solid 8.5 out of 10. Yeah. It's not solid. I'm just going to count them all as one movie too. So We've got Batman Under the Red Hood. This one is my number one favorite Batman movie ever. Even, Masterpiece in every way. I, I mean, love this movie. This is what a good cartoon should be. This Marvel. <laughs> I know Marvel makes so good movies. The cartoons are just all right. They're just movies. They're cart okay. Off topic. Um, but like, like, this, oops, this and then the camera falls down. <laughs> but yeah, oops, and then it. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so this is my favorite comic book storyline to anything ever. <laughs> like this, I love it's this great, movie. and I, I love Red Hood. That's why I was so excited to get Injustice too. And then they freaking screwed with me. And were like, oh nope, f you. You have to buy him. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but yeah, um, Under the Red Hood definitely the best. Batman cartoon, and probably the best Batman movie, <laughs> other yeah. than the three that we're about to review, except well. for two of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> except for two of them. <laughs> so, anywho. All right. Let's go in Now order. we're doing the Dark Knight, Dark Knight trilogy. Are we going to do, like, worst to best? Let's go with just in... 
order. Alright, Batman Begins. Really good, um, It's underrated. People say really it sucks. Good. I just think it, it was... Christian Bale was still getting used to the role in this one, and you can definitely tell. Um... Well, His I, voice was even more goofier than this one than any other one. <laughs> this one, uh, this is really, really, really good movie actually. And Liam Neeson's like the perfect. Liam man. Neeson was the perfect. I never Ra's liked Ra's al Ghul until that movie. So. Um, I loved it. I liked Scarecrow. I thought the version of him. That yes, they did. yes, yes, yes. He was definitely wasted. I liked him in the way next more movie, than Ra's al Ghul actually. Yeah, he was good. I liked the storyline. It was a little political, but still good. And I liked it, and I liked the... The origin story was the best version of the origin story I've ever yes. seen. It's a great... I liked that he trained with the League of Shadows. That's something that they very rarely bring up just because the League of Shadows is bad. So they don't bring up that he... Like, in the comics, he was trained by the League of Shadows. They don't bring that up very much, and I appreciated that in this movie. Yeah, that's really good. So, in all, I give that movie an 8 out of 10, definitely. Yeah, yeah, 8 out of 10 for me, too. And now for the another masterpiece. This is technically better than Red Hood. I'm just biased because that's, like, my favorite storyline. This movie is... This is the perfect Batman movie. This is almost the perfect superhero movie. There's a couple better Marvel movies, in my opinion. Yeah. But this movie's good. Heath Ledger alone is just... He Honestly, steals the show. Christian Bale's good. But you don't Heath need Ledger Batman in this movie. If the whole thing was was uh, Joker doing the like the gangster stuff and whatever, <laughs> it probably would have been even better. The Joker actually. was just perfectly executed. It wasn't... If, you, if you're like one of those people, like, it has to be exactly like the comics... The Joker wouldn't impress you just because he's nothing like yeah. the comic version. Silver Samurai it's, doesn't like it. Heath Ledger is the best version of the Joker, though. That makes sense. Ever. He's sorry, just, I like him more than Mark Hamill, too. Even his voice, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's like just a great version. More. Jack Nicholson was good. Heath Ledger's better. That's Honestly, 10 out of 10 for this one. 10 out of 10. No no questions about it. And then, the one we don't want to talk and then, about. And uh, then, the movie that isn't even unwrapped that just proves how incredibly good it is. Um, <laughs> so... The Dark Knight Rises. The only good thing I can say about this movie is Bane. I'm sorry, that's it. That's Bane is good. That's it. <laughs> that's Tom it. Hardy did an amazing job, but I thought this movie was so boring, and I'm sorry. It was just so pointless. It, it didn't need to be made. It just was pointless. There was nothing good about this movie other than And then than everything Bane. that I thought was getting good at the end would ruin it for me at the end when, when the, the twist happened. That ruined it for me. Uh, that That's worse than Batman and Robin. Did they really have to look for... Oh, four star. Okay. But yeah, it, it it's just not good. They all did a good... The you actors go, did a good job. Here's the thing. If you want to get the Dark Knight trilogy, just get these two. Just get these two. Because it kind of ends on a good note with this anyway. Cause just, you, don't need, you don't need the Dark Knight. Rises. You just need the Dark Knight and I know. Batman call it the ends. Dark Knight duo. That's what I think it should be called. It was good. This is good. That is probably about a 5 out of 10. So Yeah, 5 out of 10. And only Batman, for Bane. That's, that, Batman's uh, a good hero. My favorite. He's definitely. a good hero. Even though I like Marvel way more, Batman's like my number one. He's my boy. They just need to improve on the goddamn live action crap. So, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there you guys go. Thank you guys for watching. This is Tyler. And Matthew. Have a great day.